everyone welcome back to the channel if you have been following me on instagram you might have already seen a story where i asked to vote on what you wanted to see next and i'm super glad to say that both the options got equal votes so i'm going to post about both of them separately starting with today's video on top four end to end project ideas that are new and not just chat gpt generated trust me these ideas are taken straight from my personal notes where i write down every problem i observe from my surroundings or based on my personal thoughts every day before we dive into details let me tell you this it's perfectly fine if you build these prototypes for your resume but i would also be fascinated if you implemented them at a scalable level like an app or a public website and launched a phase 1 version on product hunt or any other launch platforms for few users to try it out and also if you do this please share the url with me as well i would love to feature it on my stories so without further ado let's dive right in today we are talking about top 4 generative ai project ideas from my list that can seriously make your resume stand out and here's the best part these are in cookie cutter kaggle notebooks or tutorial projects these are end to end real world ideas or use cases that you can actually develop yourself deploy and launch think of these projects as a conversation starters with recruiters because when you can say that i built this app ai powered app solved this problem and deployed it at scale that speaks louder than any certification or online course so grab a coffee sit tight and let's just break down each project one by one not just what they are but also the architectural design the tech you will need the tech stack you will need and why they matter in real world starting with project 1 which is a personal therapist with ai more like an ai companion let's start with mental health something we all know is important but often feels expensive or inaccessible with the world moving so fast most of us carry the weight of being anxious all the time sitting in clutter or overthinking things having a personal therapist or even an ai companion could really ease things out giving you a safe space to talk openly and process what's on your mind the idea here is an ai companion not a replacement for real therapy but a supportive daily friend Imagine this you wake up feeling anxious you open the app and simply start talking to it it listens to you maybe with a calming background music playing softly it detects your mood and then suggests daily coping strategies like a gratitude prompt a mindful exercise or even a small motivation reflection now here's the cool part it can escalate if the system detects high distress levels based on any sort of criteria might it be through your voice sentiment analysis it won't just give generic answers instead it can suggest research based activities like cbt based breathing exercises or grounding techniques so if you have a question about what is cbt here's a simple explanation cbt stands for cognitive behavioral therapy it's a proven framework in mental health studies that helps people reframe negative thought patterns into healthier perspectives your ai can be fine tuned to gently guide conversations using cbt style responses like identifying negative thinking and suggesting an alternative viewpoints that balance between friendly support and responsible recommendations makes this tool feel credible and not gimmicky so that's the idea and here's the tech stack you would need For conversation engine you could start with GPT-4 for empathetic and natural conversations if you want to use open source going with llama 3 mistral or gemma are a few strong options you can also fine tune them based on therapy style dialogues for voice journaling use whisper api or open source whisper.cpp to turn voice recordings into text this makes it more natural for users to talk instead of typing for holding the memory you can go with langchain's memory the ai can recall past conversations and journaling entries This makes it feel more personal over time, almost like it knows you. So for data and storage, use PostgreSQL or Superbase to store conversations and journaling entries. And a very important point to keep in mind is that make sure to prepare a clear privacy policy before storing user data. Users should know what's saved, what's not, and how they can delete it. Last and most important step is deployment. If you are launching it as a web app, going with Vercel is perfect. It handles Next.js or React apps with smooth scaling. And for mobile app deployment, if you don't want to build it from scratch, use Expo, which also supports React Native, and it makes it easy to launch on iOS and Android. or you can also go with flutterflow which is a no code option if you want quick prototyping each of these tools play its part and the project isn't just about ai for the sake of ai it shows you can combine empathetic product design with a solid ai engineering and let's be honest if you tell a recruiter you build something that helps people feel better it's going to stick with them far more than any other chatbot or a data dashboard project and coming to project 2 smart web summary extension this project talks about productivity something we all chase but often lose in chaos of modern life how many times you have opened 20 different tabs with the intention of reading them later and then never actually did i do this all the time and it's not because i don't want to read them it's because there's too much content and no enough time so this project is all about solving that exact problem a smart web summary extension imagine you're researching a new tech trend or an article maybe ai chips or startup funding round information instead of scanning through 10 long articles you can just click the extension 
instantly you get a clean easy to digest brief two to three paragraphs plus bullet point highlights of what that page or article has you can even save or tag the summary in a side panel to revisit later suddenly the overload feels very manageable and here's the cool part you can take it further what if it had a multi-tab digest mode instead of summarizing one article at a time it could read all your open tabs and generate one neat report almost like having a personal research assistant living inside your browser here's the tech stack to build it for content extraction, use browser extension APIs for Chrome, Edge, or Firefox to capture web page content. Libraries like readability.js, used by Firefox Reader Mode, can clean up messy HTML, striping away ads and menus, so the AI only sees the main article. For summarization engine, start with hosted LLMs like Gemini 1.5 or GPT-4 Mini for strong summarization. Or you can also go with open source. You can go with Llama 3, Mistral, or Mixtral models running on VLLM, a high-performance inference engine that can give you affordable and scalable summaries. You can also offer a short, medium, long summary toggle with three bullets, one paragraph or 500 word digest sort of preference options for the user. And for storage and history, use local storage inside the extension for lightweight prototypes for a more advanced, scalable version. Add Superbase or PostgreSQL so users can log in and access their saved summary from any device. For advanced feature integrations such as multi-tab digest, capture the content of all the tabs, send it as a batch input. LLM produces a consolidated digest with sections like key trends, stats, pros and cons, etc. For deployment, extensions can be built with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. For the backend, use FastAPI or Flask if you want a simple API that handles summarization pipeline or use Vercel if you prefer serverless scaling. For publishing, go with Chrome Web Store for Chrome Edge browsers. Each store requires an account and a one-time developer fee like $5 for Chrome. So this project is practical. It shows you can build a browser extension, front-end engineering skill, handle summarization pipelines with both proprietary and open source LLM and AI integration. And it also shows that you can think about real user needs like saving, tagging or multi-tab digest. Project three would be a real-time interview coach. Let's move into something I know a lot of us would struggle with, which is job interviews. Here's the thing, practicing for job interviews alone can be really difficult. You can't really tell if you're being clear, concise, or if you're using a lot of filler words, or if you're repeating your sentences too many times. So this project is about fixing that. Creating an AI interview coach with real-time feedback. Imagine this, you start speaking your answer and the app listens to it. As you go, it's analyzing your tone, clarity, pace, and filler words. And it should also even check if you're following the STAR method, which is situation, task, action, and result, which recruiters absolutely love. And right after you finish speaking, it should give you a detailed breakdown, which could be like, you have used six filler words. Your answer is a little longer. Here's a tighter version you could try. So that sort of instant feedback or a structured feedback takes away the guesswork and makes interview practice feel like a real coaching session instead of just talking into the void. So here's how to build it, the tech stack required. For speech recognition, use Whisper API or for faster options, you can use DeepGram or Assembly AI to turn spoken answers into clear transcripts. Whisper is accurate and multilingual, while DeepGram is optimized for low latency, real-time transcription, perfect for interviews. For feedback engine, once you have the transcript, feed it into an LLM pipeline. For hosted models, you can use GPT-4. Or for open source models, you can go with Llama 3, fine-tuned on interview-related or interview-specific datasets. The model should evaluate answers against a rubric like clarity, conciseness, filler word count, star structure, confidence score with tone plus basic. For analytics layer, store the transcripts and feedback into a PostgreSQL or MongoDB database, add simple visualizations, charts showing filler word counts, average response length or confidence scores. For front-end, for quick prototyping, use Streamlit deployment. It works well. For production level polish, use Next.js for web or React Native for mobile. And for deployment, for if it's a web app, you can go with Vercel or Render for fast serverless hosting. Or if it's a mobile app, you can go with Expo, which is based on React Native if you want to hit both iOS and Android quickly at the same time. For this app, the scaling idea would be take it beyond a single coach, turn it into a role-specific AI interviewer marketplace. For example, a data scientist AI coach could ask you questions on some SQL or ML system design. A product manager coach could run product case studies. A consulting coach could drill you with behavioral questions. Users could even subscribe for access to multiple interview coaches tailored to the exact role they're targeting to. So I think this would make a solid project on your portfolio or resume. Coming to the project four is a personal wardrobe stylist. And finally, this is my favorite one, a personal stylist for everyone. Here's the problem. Most of us have closets full of clothes, but they're never really organized. Pieces don't get paired up. Half the items are buried somewhere. And when it's time to go out, we end up saying, I have nothing to wear. What happens next? We buy new clothes instead of using what we already have. This project is about fixing that, an AI wardrobe stylist app that works only with the clothes you already have in your closet. Imagine this, you upload all the pictures of your shorts, jeans, dresses, shoes, and accessories. The app then becomes your personal stylist, generating daily outfit combinations from your closet. Even better, you can customize preferences like casual, 
classic office or college and every week it loads a fresh feed of outfits that match your vibe and only with the clothes you already have that way instead of wasting time staring at your closet you open the app and see styled look instantly so here's how to build it the tech stack behind it for image recognition or segmentation use clip or open ai vision api to detect clothing type color and texture for open source options go with fashion clip or deep fashion data sets which can help fine tune detection for the recommendation engine store embeddings of each clothing item apply rules plus ml to suggest pairings for data and storage use superbase or firebase to store images embeddings and user preferences each uploaded item gets tagged with metadata like category top bottom shoe colors and material for front end for quick prototyping use streamlit it works well for showing outfits for a polished mobile app go with react native with expo so users can upload images easily from their camera or gallery and for deployment if it's a web app host on versal for smooth scaling versal is my favorite and if it's a mobile app use expo's build service to push straight to ios or android stores and here's the scaling idea for this project take it beyond just outfits build a weekly outfit planner where users get a 7 day grid of looks complete with hairstyle suggestions to matching accessories and shoes paired up and if you want to make it community driven allow users to publish their looks publicly anonymously if they want so others can get inspired this could even turn into a social fashion discovery app like pinterest but powered by ai and personalized wardrobes so there you have it all four generative ai project ideas that aren't just strong portfolio pieces but real world scalable ideas you can launch use and even monetize you might find similar apps online that happens all the time but the important thing here is your implementation and the pile of knowledge you'll gain after building and deploying these ideas in public that's what make recruiters excited to hire you so each of these projects demonstrates different skill sets like llms extensions real time speech analysis api integrations and deployments exactly the kind of things companies want to see on your resume having even one of these projects shows that you're a kind of person who can build something real useful and production ready now i want to hear from you which idea did you like the most let me know in the comments and if you you found this video to be useful make sure you like subscribe and share it with someone else who is looking to break into ai and also if you actually launch one of these on product hunt or any launch platforms tag me i would also love to share it on my instagram stories last but not the least always remember this projects don't just build resumes they build you every line of code every late night debug every small win is a proof that you're shaping yourself into someone stronger sharper and more unstoppable you don't need to have it all figured out right now you just need to keep moving forward because momentum beats perfection and persistence always beats doubt until next time keep building keep experimenting and keep making your path stand out i'll see you in the next video